Good morning, class. For today's lesson, I am going to discuss to you about introduction to photography, wherein we are going to define what is photography as well as to study the origin of the word photography itself. Then afterwards, I am going to give you some activities regarding the lesson. Are you now ready with our lesson? If yes, let's start. Okay, so uh, let's start with the origin of the word photography. According here, the word photography was supposedly uh, first coined by the British scientist Sir John Herschel in the year 1839 from the Greek words pos or photos meaning light and uh, grape means drawing or writing. It literally means drawing with light. Okay, so if we are going to uh, combine those two words, okay, the definition that we can find through these words are drawing or writing with light. Meaning, class, ang uh, photography ay uh, may hahalin tulad natin sa painting, tama? Ang pagkakaiba nga lamang sa painting, ang ginagamit nilang medium, okay? O yung, yung kanilang ginagamit ay gumagamit sila ng paintbrush at saka ng pintura, tama? Para sila ay makapag-create ng isang image. Now, sa so photography, we are using light or ang tinatawag nating liwanag para makabuo o makalikha ng isang imahe. Okay? So, nakikita nyo ba o na ikukumpere nyo ba yung uh, difference ng dalawang art form? Okay? So, pareho silang nagkikreate ng image pero magkaibang medium yung kanilang ginagamit. Okay? So, again, Let's go back to photography. Kapag sinabi nating photography, tayo ay lumilikha ng isang imahe or image sa pamamagitan ng liwanag. Okay, so yun yung uh, primary na kailangan natin sa photography para tayo ay makabuo ng isang imahe or image. Hindi tayo makakabuo ng isang image kung hindi tayo gagamit ng liwanag. Okay, so, I hope na uh, nagsisimula ng magkaroon ng linaw uh, sa inyo kung ano ang photography. Okay, let us continue with the definition of photography. According here, photography is the science, art, and the practice of creating durable images by recording light or other electromagnetic radiation, either electronically by means of an image sensor or chemically by means of a light sensitive material such as photographic film. Okay, so kung titignan natin ang uh, definition ng photography, okay, it was defined as science, an art, practice of creating durable images by means of what? by recording light. So, present pa rin si light. So, kagaya ng uh, unang uh, nakita natin kanina sa unang slide, ang uh, makikita lang nating pagkakaiba rito sa ginamit na word ay yung word na recording. Okay? So, kanina, pag pinagsama natin yung uh, dalawang word, ang uh, kanyang nagiging uh, definition ay writing, tama? Or drawing with light. Dito naman, ang ginamit na term or ginamit na word is recording light. Okay, so ibang word na yung ginamit pero ganun pa rin. 
kailangan pa rin nating gumamit ng liwanag para makapag-record. Ayan. O para makabuo ng image. So, paano tayo makakabuo o makaka-record ng uh, light? So, meron din dito nakalagay. Ang sabi niya rito, either electronically by means of an image sensor. It talks about the modern type of camera. Okay. Sa so, panahon kasi natin ngayon, we're using cameras with image sensors. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, uh, we are not uh, using anymore, o kung mayroon man, uh, siguro mga ilan-ilan na lang yung gumagamit nitong nasa pangalawa. Ang sabi dito sa pangalawa, or chemically by means of a light-sensitive material such as photographic film. So, yung uh, photographic film kasi, or yung film, ay yung mas early na form ng uh, pagkuha ng larawan or ng image. Wherein, gumagamit tayo ng mga film para makapag-capture ng image. Okay? So, yun yung uh, time na kung saan meron tayong uh, 12 shots, 24 shots, at yung pinakamarami is 36 shots. Diba? Yun yung time na kung saan ang ginagamit natin to record light or drawing or writing with light ay film. Okay. But nowadays, we are already using image sensors, which is more comfortable to use at mas reliable na gamitin. Mas madali at syempre, mas matipid. Kasi, kung ikukumpara natin sa film, ang film dati, kapag gumamit ka nito, hindi mo pwedeng i-delete or i-erase yung laman ng camera mo. Ibig sabihin, pag nagamit mo na yung una sa 36 shot, you only have 35 shots left. At hindi mo pwedeng gamitin ulit yung unang ginamit mo kahit na magkamali ka. Okay? Unlike sa uh, mga cameras na ginagamit natin ngayon to take uh, photos, okay, so we are using uh, image sensors and we are using yung tinatawag nating memory cards to store datas or to store the image na nakunan natin. Yan. Kasi we are already in the modern world. So, that is photography. Yan. So, I hope na nakuha ninyo kung anong ibig sabihin ng photography. At kung bakit siya tinawag na photography. Okay. At para mas maintindihan pa ninyo, lalo kung ano ang uh, photography, so I prepared uh, two activities na gagawin ninyo uh, para sa araw na ito. Uh, parang intro activity ko ito para sa inyo. Ayan, para mas lalong lumawak yung ating uh, pagkakaintindi sa photography. Okay, so let me just read the note. Okay, so the two activities below are related to one another. Okay, so ibig sabihin, kailangan ninyong gawin pareho. Hindi pwede yung isa lang yung gagawin ninyo. Okay? So please, make sure to do this both activities as this will help you see and compare both of your works. Okay, so magkakaroon kasi kayo mamaya ng tinatawag nating comparison. Okay? So, yun ang inyong gagawin. So, uh, two activities na related sa bawat isa, you are going to compare them later through a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. So, you are going to present your uh, works. Okay. So, for activity 1A, so I call this, or I call this activity 1A, what are you going to use? Number one, using your mobile phone. Okay, mga cellphones ninyo. Kasi yan naman ang pinaka-common at I think uh, majority sa inyo ay mayroong cellphone na ginagamit. Tama? Or, whatever camera you have at home. Okay, kung meron kayong mga DSLR cameras, 
Pwede? As long as alam niyo na siyang gamitin. But if not, you can uh, you can uh, you can all, you can still use that. Ayun para makapag-start na rin kayo makapag practice. But gamitin niyo muna yung automatic mode. Okay? So, wag mo nang gumamit ng mga manual modes or other modes ng inyong camera because we're going to study that later. Okay? So, again, using your mobile phone or whatever camera you have at home. Okay, so yun ang inyong gagamitin sa pagkuha ng larawan. Okay, so number two, take a photo of yourself inside a semi-lit or fluorescent lit room. So, indoor ang una. So, activity 1A is indoor shots ang inyong kukunan. Ano ang inyong kukunan? Kukunan ninyo ang inyong sarili. Okay? Take a photo of yourself inside. Okay? At dito, ang gagamitin natin ay yung tinatawag nating mga artificial lights. When we say artificial lights, ito yung mga uh, ilaw na ginagamit natin inside uh, our home or inside the school or sa kahit na anumang lugar. Okay? So, pukunan ninyo yung sarili gamit ang inyong mobile phone sa loob ng bahay gamit ang mga lights na available sa loob ng inyong bahay. Okay, so that's number two. Then, instruction number three. Tell me what you see. Describe it in a short sentence. How does the photo make you feel about yourself and the quality of the light? Okay, since, again, kung babalikan natin, ang definition ng photography is drawing or lighting with light. Recording light. So, how does the quality of light and how does the quality of light affect the result of the image na kinuna ninyo? Okay. So, yun yung titignan ninyo. Okay? Then, number five. You may submit this to your teacher sa akin on a USB flash drive or through a PowerPoint slideshow or a free online photo gallery such as myalbum.com you can also uh, we can also use that but uh, uh, what I'm going to uh, tell you to use is the Microsoft PowerPoint presentation or slideshow okay so after ninyong makunan ang inyong sarili sa loob ng bahay with your camera and with the available lights inside your house, you are going to put that image in a PowerPoint slideshow. Okay? And write a short sentence about the photo na kinulan ninyo. Again, how does the photo make you feel about yourself and the quality of light? Okay, so para may kumpara natin sa susunod nating activity. Okay? So, that is activity 1A. So, that is taking uh, a photo of yourself inside your house. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's proceed with activity 1B. Okay, so kanina, uh, dun sa 1A, ang kinuna ninyo ay ang inyong sarili na nasa loob ng bahay gamit ang mga available artificial lights sa loob ng inyong mga bahay. Okay, so now, let me just uh, read the instructions for activity 1B. Number one, go outside of your house only in your backyard. Again, ha? only in your backyard or garden or even by the doorstep of your home at 10 a.m. Okay? But since uh, our uh, class is during uh, afternoon, okay, 1, uh, 1 p.m. to uh, 3 p.m., so uh, the light at this time is very lit outside. Okay? Uh, just a few uh, tips or hints uh, about photography at kung kailan ba 
magandang kumuha ng larawan outside. Okay? Ito yun. So, pag kumukuha tayo ng larawan, okay, ang best time na pagkuha ay tuwing umaga at hapon. Uh, okay? So, we are not recommending you to get uh, or take a shot or take an image ng tanghaling tapat. Bakit? Kasi masyadong tirik ang araw. Okay? Masyadong harsh yung uh, tinatawag nating liwanag. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you later about that. Kung bakit uh, hindi okay kung masyadong maliwanag. Okay? So, let's go back to our activity. So, pwede pa rin naman. Okay? So, pwede pa rin naman. May kukumpara pa rin naman natin yung ating uh, activity 1A dito sa activity 1B. Kahit na ganitong oras ta tayo mayroon ngayon. Okay? So, ang gagawin nyo naman sa pangalawa, kailangan yung lumabas. Okay? Again, sa backyard lang o kaya sa garden o kaya sa doorstep ng inyong bahay. Hindi po sa labas o sa bahay ng kapitbahay nyo o sa bakura ng kapitbahay nyo. Okay? Number two, be careful. Remember social distancing and practice quarantine rules. Ayan. So, always remember yung tinatawag nating social distancing. Kaya, uh, we are discouraging you to go uh, further away sa inyong mga bahay. So, dyan lang kayo sa mismong bakuran ng inyong bahay. So, wag lalayo. Number three, again, take a photo of yourself. Parang kanina rin. Take a photo of yourself. Then, number four, tell me what you see. Anong nakikita mo ngayon sa uh, larawan na kinunan mo? Outside. Okay. The number four. Ay, number five pala. How does the photo make you feel about yourself and the quality of light? So, parehas lang yung tanong. Tama? So, kaya nga comparison yung inyong gagawin. Ngayon, ikukumpara ninyo yung quality of light, yung quality of image, of course, nang kinuna ninyo inside at ngayon naman ay outside your house. Okay. Number six. Which do you like better? Anong mas gusto mo sa dalawa? Yun bang kinunan mo dun sa loob o kinunan mo sa labas? Paano nakaka-apekto ang kalidad or quality ng liwanag sa magiging image o sa image na makukunan mo gamit ang iyong camera? At syempre, gamit ang liwanag. And number seven. Again, ganun pa rin. You may submit this to your teacher on a USB flash drive or a PowerPoint slideshow. Again, ang, ang instruction ko kanina is you're going to uh, submit that through a PowerPoint slideshow. Okay? And at the same time, you're going to uh, show your work in front of the class later. Okay? So, that is going to be our activity 1B. Then, after that, we're going to proceed with the presentation. And, before I let you uh, go uh, para kumuha ng larawan for your inside and outside uh, taking of pictures, okay, so, let me just remind you with the time. So, we're going to use the remaining minutes of the first hour para kumuha kayo ng larawan. Okay? Then, we're going to use the remaining uh, one hour later para sa presentation ng inyong mga works. Okay, so malinaw? So, kung ready na kayo para sa activity, pwede na kayong lumabas at kumuha ng inyong mga larawan. Then later, you're going to present your works. Okay, so good luck to everyone. Okay, so as of this moment, so we are going to proceed now with the presentation of your outputs. Okay, so I hope that all of you are ready for your outputs. Good luck to everyone.